A corona vaccination starts with an injection, typically in the shoulder. In the vaccines from BioNTech, Pfizer and Moderna, the injection contains RNA molecules inside lipid nanoparticles. These molecules enter the cell and are then released from that nanoparticle code. Other vaccine types, for example those from AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson, are given as DNA inside another virus, which is not coronavirus. They are called viral vector vaccines. In these vaccines, the DNA strand continues into the cell nucleus, where your own DNA is also found. Here it is transcribed. That means that the information is copied from DNA to RNA and then exported out of the cell nucleus. From that point, the mechanism of the four vaccine types is again the same. Vaccine information is found as RNA ready for translation. RNA is actually supposed to be translated and made into your own proteins, but with vaccine RNA, the proteins found on coronavirus are made. They are called spike proteins. Spike protein gives coronavirus its shape and also its name, corona. It is that molecule that virus uses to gain access to the cells of your body. The spike protein is exported outside of the cell and there it is captured by an antigen presenting cell. It is then presented to a T cell like this. When that happens, an immune reaction begins. An immune reaction is a complex interplay of cells being activated. Here, for example, it's a so-called B cell. Overall, the result will be that your body starts producing antibodies against spike protein. Without this prepared defense, we are easily infected with coronavirus. However, when the body and its immune system is prepared, it will quickly combat invading coronavirus.